In this week's Speaker's Corner Report, two sides of a big debate on the roadways are weighing in. When it comes to lane closures, are you an early bird merger or a last minute budger? Who's right? Who's wrong? The experts weigh in. In life, we have choices. Coke, Pepsi, vanilla, or chocolate. On the roads, when you see a sign indicating a road closure ahead, do you merge immediately like Chris? So you take your first chance to get in. Of course, yeah. Or are you a Jeremy and merge at the last possible moment? So the best practice is to wait until the last minute. Ah, uh, basically, yeah. So who's right, who's wrong? Here's Teresa DeFelice with CAA. It's okay to stay in the lane that's closing. In other words, be a Jeremy. In fact, according to multiple traffic studies. If all drivers actually maximize the, the use of both lanes up until they can, this is actually the best case scenario. At the exact point of the bottleneck, drivers should then use the zipper merge. It's kind of this zipper pattern where they would come into the lane. The lane closure starts. Uh, you would let the car on your left or your right actually in and each driver would do so and just take a, a turn. It actually has shown to reduce traffic congestion by 40%. Each driver just takes a deep breath and instead of feeling angered at the other one, actually respectfully lets the other one in. But not everyone is sold. We have this mindset that, and we were probably taught that when you see that sign, the first thing you should do is move over. Like Chris, our self-declared early bird merger. But after hearing the evidence from CAA, he's gonna change his game plan. You're gonna do it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're gonna use up as much road as you I'll can. Yeah. Whether you're an early bird merger or a last minute budger, we'd still love to hear from you. Reach out to us if you have a story, question, or issue you'd like City News to look into. You can do that by visiting the Speaker's Corner section on the City News website.